Hey there, everyone, and welcome to The Mindful Musician. I'm Cosmin. I'm a guitarist, I'm a singer, a professional educator, and a martial artist from Bucharest, Romania. And today I will show you how the Dorian mode can be used to play a solo over a riff built from the notes of the same mode. In the previous videos, we have explored the minor pentatonic scale on top of which I have added various intervals to create hexatonic, that means six note versions of the minor modes derived from the natural major scale. In today's video, I want to show you how I use the minor pentatonic scale while also highlighting major seconds and sixths, thus the Dorian mode, and occasionally a flat five as a passing tone, just it being a tip of the hat to the minor pentatonic blue scale. I will be moving around horizontally across more positions and while that is something that is worth taking into account, I'm urging you to pay attention by listening to phrasing and rhythm more than uh, the visual aspect of playing. I'll be using the key of A and I'll also have the tabs for the riffs behind the solos in the extended version of the lesson on Patreon which you can find in the text description below. So for the theoretical aspects, A minor pentatonic means root, flat third, four, perfect fourth, perfect fifth, flat seventh, that means A, C, D, E, and G. And A Dorian means root, major second, flat third, perfect fourth, perfect fifth, major second, then flat seventh, that means A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, and G. And the flat fifth is an E flat. The chord progression underlining the riff is A minor and D7 or D dominant seven. That is an one minor, four major, type of progression which happens to be one of the most popular Dorian chord progressions and it's found in many famous songs such as the Bee Gees' Stayin' Alive. And if you want to learn more about how to build modal chord progressions I have a video about that which you can watch right here. Let's see and hear the solo and also hit that like button and the subscribe button if you like the Mindful Musician channel and if you're learning stuff here. Thank you so much. Now, let's break it down into sections and see where the important intervals are coming in. Right, that was it, so I hope that now you have a better understanding on how to actually involve the Dorian mode into your own solos, and if you want to play alongside me at a slowed down tempo, as well as use the tabs in Guitar Pro and PDF format, plus backing tracks at various tempos, click on the link in the text description below to the lesson on the Patreon page. I'd also love to see and hear your Dorian solos, written by you obviously, using this same backing track, so feel free to record Post them on the internet, on YouTube, on your channel, and drop a link and a comment to this video. I'll see you in the next one, and until then, please make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel to support the Mindful Musician. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.